Good frosty morning, afternoon, night, whatever time of the day you're watching this video. And whoo, is it cold this morning. With all the wind we've been having, I know you're dying to know what happened to the lake ice. Did we gain ice? Did we lose ice? Well, we're gonna go find out right now. So, we are at our first stop, the spillway. And as you can see behind me, we have some open water. There's another pocket on the other side of the bridge that's open. But from there, all the way up to the weir, that is locked up. This looks like a holdout from waterfowl. Uh, there's some swans on the other one still, just kind of hanging out. Um, you've got a mallard and a bluebill hanging out together. That's interesting. Um, it's cold. <laughs> Hopefully uh, that hen mallard's not frozen to it. Or is that her head? I don't know what it is. It's a diver. But there's still a little bit of open water out here at the mouth of the spillway as well. These are always dangerous, dangerous areas that you need to be careful about when you're walking around out here in front of the spillway. Let's head on over to Crocker Boat Launch. Seen a lot of vehicles and some shanties out in the ice when I drove by. Twenty, thirty guys out here fishing right now. Most of them are in shanties because it is so so cold this morning. But Crocker looks like it's in better shape. Looks like everybody's kind of holding off going past where that open water was that I reported on in the last video. If you didn't see that, go ahead and click right up above here. I'll post a link to that uh, in the top. You're right, my left corner. Um, but yeah, let's head on over to the next vantage point where we can see all of Lance Cruz Bay. Okay, I am over here by Hideaway Harbor on the other side of the Crocker Boat Launch, taking a look at where that open water was. And as you can see, it has skimmed over. Let me roll the window down for you. So it has skimmed over, guys. Um, but there is definitely something sketchy about that line um, where she froze in. Uh, we do got wind blowing off the shore, you know, blowing the blowing out into the lake right now. And that could very well break off some pieces and send it out into the main lake where it's not frozen and then down the Detroit River. I know there has been some pictures and some reports from both the U.S. and the Canadian side about ice flows coming down the Detroit River. So that is happening. This wind is pulling some ice away. But there's still plenty forming where we can go out and fish regardless if this chunk comes off. There's still going to be some good, good, good ice up in Lance Cruz Bay. Let's head on over to the other side of this wall and I'll show you what I, what I see. So I'm over here on the edge of the bay and what I was concerned about was how this pressure crack was going to form. And it formed like I thought it was. I didn't want to say much about it. But it comes off of the point here and then bellies in towards the flagpole and Geno's and then it swings in near shore and then it comes right back out to the point of Metro. So everything on this side of that ice line is going to be very thin, very sketchy, even though it's so, so cold. There's so much movement of the water right now in the lake that it is affecting how fast we're making ice, but you can hear the ice cracking and popping and forming. So it is making ice, but it's also that wind is definitely, you know, stressing it out a little bit. Uh, back by the willows and the trailer park, there is a few shanties, a couple guys back there fishing right now. Hey, did you get the notification about my last video? If you didn't, be sure you click down below, hit that red subscribe button, and ding that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. So I am over here at the day sale at metro park and guess what yep i'm walking on the ice and i'm not the only one as you can see back behind me here guys there's a few guys out here on the ice and from the looks of things you definitely want to be careful 
you're gonna want to spud your way around until you get to know just how this ice formed it had a lot of flux a lot of change over the last week so it could be dangerous in a couple spots out here uh, but yeah we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve shanties out here fishing the day sail So back here at the back basin and the marsh, uh, the back basin is looking really, really good. I don't see any signs of anybody trying it yet, but I wouldn't be shocked to see somebody out here tomorrow poking around, spudding around, doing it cautiously, checking the ice there. There are guys back fishing on the marsh right now. Uh, I'm not sure how they're doing, but it is cold out, folks, and it's looking beautiful out here. So over here at the Clinton River, um, looks like you could definitely spud your way around and get out here and fish. Um, I can actually see how thick this ice is right here. Let me show you really quick. This is cool. So it looks like the ice here at the boat ramp is, you know, four to six right in my immediate vicinity. But you do want to spud around because this is very variable ice. Um, out here in front of the harbor, whole bunch of chunked up ice that got blown in by that north wind. Um, but we are definitely making ice, guys. This ice is popping like crazy. So over here on the other side of the bay, you can see that some of the ice did blow out and open up with that, that winter storm that came through. Uh, the waterfowl are definitely taking advantage of this open water. Um, by the looks of things, there is lots of pockets of soft skim in open water out here on Candles Bay. So this is this is what I'm going to call official hard. Do not come here and try fish. Try to fish over here on Candles Bay if you want to fish out in this area. Hate to say this, I'm actually going to say try to fish right off the boat ramp here. Um, looks like the ice is much safer on that side. So, yeah, let's head on up to the next stop. So, I am over here at Salfridge. There are guys out on the main lake fishing. And there's guys back in the boat launch fishing. I know they've been catching a few fish here. Um, nothing super, super spectacular, but some quality fish being caught every now and again. Uh, so yeah, they are on the main lake at Salfridge. Let's head on up to the next spot. So I am over here at Brandenburg. And it looks like a lot of this ice held up. It thickened up, it firmed up. So I am not shocked to see on the other side of the pier for me, some guys walking out onto the main lake. So it looks like some main lake ice up here on the northern half of Anchor Bay has started. Guys are starting to venture out and explore. If you're going to do it, take that spud, guys. Be cautious. Have your safety gear. Fish with a buddy. You know, space out until you know what the ice conditions are. Play it like you're walking on thin ice. Better be safe than sorry and end up dead or, you know, very, very cold at the very least. So I'm out here at the Fairhaven boat launch. As you can see, a lot of guys are out here fishing. Uh, most of the reports have been that you have to do a ton of sorting, a lot of little fish. Uh, if you're looking for northern pike, though, this might be a good place to go spear or to come out and uh, fish some lures uh, for northern pike. I did talk to a few guys that did see a bunch of them uh, throughout their morning. So they're fishing Fairhaven. So there's a good number of people up here fishing the raft. I actually seen a Michigan out of doors truck out here. So keep an eye on the Michigan out of doors show probably in the next week to two weeks. 
they might have a video of them out here fishing on the raft we'll see how they did uh, i'm not sure which one it is i text uh gabe van worm to see if he knows who's out here filming so that's kind of cool but that's going to do it for the fish report guys thank you for tuning in as always if you're not subscribed to the channel please click down below hit that red subscribe button and ding that notification bell right to the right of the button and you'll get notified every time i post a video if you haven't gotten a chance please go down in the description check out my teespring store account where you can pick up some jc drop shot merchandise it helps me do more videos for you here on the channel and as always guys tight lines happy casting we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching thanks for listening be sure to like subscribe and share it helps me it helps the channel it helps everyone who likes to catch fish